Hey guys, welcome to another video in Minecraft. Um, this is episode 3, I think. And um, today is going to be definitely a lot more productive than before because uh, we haven't gotten much done, of course. It's only been two episodes, but still, um, I'd like to get some things done. So, I think... Uh, well, let's make another sword first. This one's almost out. But I think I want to do, just um, do a lot of exploring today because uh, I want to find a good place and I want to be able to get started with some good materials. Let's see. Do I have an axe? No, I don't yet. Yeah, let's just do this. I think the worst thing about rain is the noise. Like, I don't mind rain. I think it's cool that it's here, but the noise seriously needs to be changed. Like, it's just white noise. You know, it's like, it sounds like fuzz. I think it should be more of a pitter patter, you know? You know what I mean? Oh, crap. Oh, I think the vines saved me. I didn't get any fall damage from that. So yeah, I'm going to do some exploring around, I'm going to... We could use some wool. So then when we find our spot, we'll be able to have, we'll already have a bunch of resources, and it'll be great. I think if you do this, if you, uh... Let's see, if you do minimal, then if we turn the sound up, yeah, here we go. So now the rain sound is not even playing if you turn the, the particles to minimal, so that's good. And then we still get nice other sounds. Mm. I just heard another sheep. I'm gonna have to go get it. Alright, just one more for because I need the wool for bed, of course. Where did it go? Here it is. So in the future, um I've been suggested by a friend that I should do some, like, Feed the Beast survival or something. What I, what I want to do is uh, Divine RPG. Um, not Feed the Beast. Like, uh, Feed the Beast has, uh, has a mod pack for, um, for Divine RPG, which is pretty cool because it's called RPG Immersion. And what it does is it gives you a few cool... Um, Like, it gives you a radar, it gives you some other, um, like, RPG-type elements. It, you get the, uh, the health bar. Uh, so if you attack a mob on the top left, it will show you the mob's health. So, um, I think in the future, not the near future, because I want to get this series, like, this series is going, but, you know, it's, it could use a little bit of attention. I want to get some episodes on this series first before I start another one. So that's the plan. Alright. Let's continue. <clears throat> and I think that's a jungle temple. Alright. It's just like, hey, let's like let's get this little island of jungle over there and put a temple on it. So that, that's pretty, uh, that was not likely to spawn there actually, so that's pretty insane. I found uh, two jungle temples in the same jungle biome before. That was really cool. Because I know these are, um, these aren't too uncommon, but they are pretty rare.
Do I have any torches? No, I do not. I don't know what those levers do. But I know there is, um... Yeah, see that? Boom. Oh, crap. Sweet. Just some iron. That'll be good for, uh... For an axe, because I still need an axe. Maybe we should do some caving. Shall we do some caving, guys? If I find any open caves, we'll just jump in and have at it, but I'm not going to go looking for any caves. <clears throat> you know, I should probably become more well equipped before I start traveling during the night. So yeah, let's uh maybe I should find a cave. Let's just hope we get lucky. Maybe there's some kind of entrance onto the side of this mountain. Well, we could build a boat and continue sailing cuz that's pretty safe. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot I was laying on this. Let's see, we may as well make a bed right now. <clears throat> oh crap. The zombie's trying to ruin my day. Okay, let's pick this up. And we shall continue. Yeah, I think Divine RPG is going to be pretty fun because... I'm pretty new to it. I've already tried twice and I've, I've died both times and it was a pain. Like, I lost everything because I couldn't find sheep to get a bed so I couldn't just sleep and stuff. So, that was that was a pain <laughs> and I was pretty discouraged. But now that I have a little bit of experience, hopefully that won't happen again. Uh, what you're supposed to do, uh, I looked on the wiki for Divine RPG and they recommend that you do not, um, they recommend that you do not go cave mining instead do strip mining and that is because that is because um, the, like really dangerous monsters spawn in the cave and let me tell you I've like all the times that I have died were from those monsters so I should have listened <laughs> I was like nah strip mining's too boring and slow and we can turn the particles up now Woohoo! Um, yeah, decreased. So yeah, if you ever do RPG and you haven't done it before, um, yeah, I guess you could try... Ooh. Oh yeah, that's right, you have to shift to get off now. Uh, you could try cave mining, but then, like, I promise, like, you're gonna have a hard time. <laughs> oh crap, like, you'll be like, oh yeah, I'm doing great, and then, like, Monsters will come out of nowhere, like from behind. Um, you know, if you are like really careful when you're cave mining, um, again, I'm talking about if you're playing Divine RPG, you could probably get away with it. Um, however, it is, um, you might die. Like, get some stuff, like, but, you know, get all the resources you need. Um, not all, but a lot. That's a lot of sheep over there. Yeah. Maybe I should talk about this if I, once I actually start doing Divine RPG. Yeah. Yeah, get a bed, get a bed fast and get a chest fast if you want to do cave mining and Divine RPG. New topic. Sheep. Um, cows. That's pretty much what I want. Like, I want to settle in a place with sheep and cows those are my main oh yeah and chickens gotta have those chickens so hopefully maybe there's some chickens over here um like pigs yeah pigs are good but cows give you the pretty much they pretty much give you the exact same amount of food and uh and that's why uh, that's the only reason you want pigs right for food unless you had a carrot on a steak and you wanted to ride the pig 
except there's horses in the game now. Pigs are more common. Yeah. Should we pick up this boat? Let's just leave it here. I mean, like, you don't really need it, right? We could uh, make that X now. Thankfully, we got this leather tunic from a zombie in that village over there in the previous episode. I remember I picked it up not even knowing, and then I found it in my inventory, and I was like, oh. We could sleep right now. That'd be wise, I think, actually. Let's do this. Now you are on fire. Ugh. We found a lot of pumpkins in this uh, <clears throat> in this series so far. Like, look at all these sheep, man. Um, I don't see the point in killing them really, so I'm just gonna leave them. Let's see. Oh right, axe. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Cause I'm gonna need that axe to get all these pumpkins. You know. Oh yeah, here we go. So much better than picking these out by hand. Okay. Um so chickens. See if we can find chickens. I don't think I would see them from here if they were over in that area because I like that overhang. Look at that. Let's go on top of that just because we can. And then we'll be able to get some exploration done. What if the chickens are on the. What if the chickens are on the little overhang here? Be the chicken overhang. Well, I really like. Oh, got some pigs as well. Not that we need them. I really like mountain biomes. They're they give me joy because they're. I mean, they're just really cool. Like, I have a fascination in like big overhead, awesome terrain and stuff. Unfortunately, there are not chickens in the immediate area, so. We're gonna have to go um, chicken hunting, or uh, we could, because uh, <clears throat> I want to settle in this area. I think it's pretty nice. We could build a uh, like a. We could build our house on the side of that. Oh, I almost fell there. Should I jump into that water? Wait a minute. See that? Nah, I don't want to risk that, but I will do this. Oh, I broke my bed, so if I die, I'm going to spawn all the way back at the beginning. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'd, I'm, I'm almost like... I'm kicking myself for... Because I really was about to do it. I'm glad I did not. I mean, I probably could have made it, but I probably can make it. I don't want to. Do I? No, I don't. I'll just build my way down. Except I don't have any blocks. I'm so ill prepared. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I missed a pumpkin over there. It's alright. <clears throat> we don't need that pumpkin. <laughs>
Fortunately, food should not be a problem this time. Like in the last series, like the whole time I was talking about like food. I need food. Oh, dang! Our, our farm is growing. Obviously, it's growing. I think I seriously said that. I was like, our farm is still growing. <laughs> Alright. I saw a creeper over here. I wonder if it despawned. We'll find out, I guess. Yeah, I like this. All I need is some wood. Let's go ahead and plant these. And then I'll use the bone meal on them. Hmm. Oh, right, duh. Mm. Alright. 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 I don't like it when they grow into big trees. Because then they're a pain to take down. Maybe we'll just leave that one there for now. I think I can turn the sound up a little bit. Okay, chickens. I wish we had chickens. Maybe we'll get super lucky and then get a chicken from this. Nope. <laughs> that would have been awesome, though. Okay, caving. That would be good. Maybe I should have made, instead of an axe, I probably should have made a pickaxe <clears throat> with those three iron I had. We got pigs, we got sheep, so this is good. And then there's cows over there, which shouldn't, they shouldn't run off or anything, so. Because <clears throat> I want cows for the leather, obviously, like I've been saying before. I'm, right now, I'm just looking for a, uh, I'm looking for a cave entrance. I'll probably just have to make my own. You know, I think that's what we're going to do. Let's go to the side of that mountain, and then I feel a sneeze coming on. <laughs> yeah. All I have is my wooden shovel. Do I have? Nope, I do have a shovel. I don't have anything. Oh, wait, is that a cave entrance up there? Or is that... No, that's just this. Yeah, we'll just make our own cave entrance. And we shall do that after we kill the zombie. Oh, he's got a shovel. Drop the shovel. Nope, he won't drop the shovel. You're a mean zombie. You're mean. Okay, let's see. And we shall do it, because I want to... I think it'd be cool to, like, build a like a system along the side of this mountain like a system of platforms and stuff so I'd, I'd want the entrance to the tunnel to the tunnel like near it at least and I want it low so that I can get down more easily Okay, I'm gonna pause the video and then I'll be right back when if I like find a cave or never mind. <laughs> I, I was gonna say I was, uh, I'll pause the video and then come back when I find a cave, but uh, luckily I didn't need to pause the video. Woohoo! Um, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. I got my allergies on right now. Oh, this is nice. Some iron. And then we'll be able to make some uh, armor from this. And we will not be... Um, we will be able to... Yeah. Not to die as easily, obviously. I'm like... Yeah, and like 2 plus 2 equals 4. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Sorry if I'm mumbling. 
I just realized I was kind of mumbling a little bit. Oh, that's not what I want. I was wanting a different... I want a higher ceiling. You know what? Is this a... This might be a ravine. I wish I had torches. Okay, so we got the iron. Um, let's turn this into planks. Let's get um, our... We could, let, let's grab that coal over there, actually. Hold on. I'm like, let's do this, let's do that. No, let's do this instead. So, make up your mind, Ethan. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to cook this, but first we need to get the coal. We could use the wood, but I don't want to use the wood. I want to use the coal. Except maybe I do want to use the wood for uh, <clears throat> because I want the coal for torches. This will be fine, though. We'll just use the coal. Use the coal, use the coal. Looks like nighttime is approaching again. So we'll be able to sleep in the bed, which I broke. Because if I were to, uh, even though I slept in the bed, I broke it, so I would have spawned all the way back again, even though I had slept in the bed. But that's because I broke it. So let's put the bed right here. I'll probably break this again and put it in a different spot. But we need to sleep right now, and I'll break it later though when I um, am more prepared. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to judge. All right. That's a little water area. This is great, actually. Let's put that in the coal. Sweet. Whew. Hmm. Is that a is that a sheep up there? That thing right there. I'll have to check that out later. It's probably a sheep. Okay. Well. Um. This has been good. It's been productive. Uh. Oh, come on. Seriously. You guys are probably like Ethan. Ethan, look over there. I'm like. <laughs> yeah. See. Um. That's like the the main crime of holy crap. That is, that is like a crime if you're making videos. The viewer seeing something that you do not. Um, holy cow! This is really awesome. This is great. Well, I was like I was about to say oh, this has been a little anticlimactic. It's been productive, but anticlimactic. I wish I could have. And did this on a more, you know, climactic, no, climax, climax, you know what I mean. But, uh, yeah, I got my wish fulfilled. Um, <laughs> we were able to find an awesome ravine. We'll be exploring this a lot in the future. And, um, yeah, this has been episode three in Mango in Minecraft. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.